Ooh, boy, that was flying. Okay, well, for about the last 20 to 30 minutes, I have been disassembling my rigger. If you caught the last video, we got 86 miles an hour out of this bad boy, and the rudder ripped out of the transom. So, what ended up happening was the uh, plywood itself delaminated. See right here how we have this one extra piece? Yeah. So that's what ended up happening. Uh, the plywood itself failed. And once the plywood failed, it didn't have enough room for the glue to hold. So let me see if I can get a, <clears throat> a finder here. I've since knocked it out. But you see this whole area here? All of this was broken out. This little corner here, and this here, and this here. All that came delaminated from the wood itself. So... What I'm going to do is I've been working on getting this out and not breaking anything. And I think I have got it. It was a lot harder than what I'm showing you here. But basically what I did, I just took this really, really fine flat edge screwdriver. And I went little, you know, three millimeters at a time with a, with a small little hammer. And I just went around and kind of chiseled, chiseled it out right where the glue was. So what we're going to do, now that we've got the back of the boat open, we're going to take a Dremel, we're going to clean all this up real nice, and then we're going to take this plate of carbon from Offshore Electrics, and we're going to make a carbon rear end for it. Now, I, I originally opted, I was like, well, why don't I just leave the wood on there? And just cut this out and, and make it double thick. Well, then I'm still reliant on the glue. And all I would be doing would be gluing carbon to the wood. And once I saw that it had actually pulled the laminate off of the little three layers of plywood here, it really wasn't going to do me any good. Because you're just gluing carbon to something that's not you know sufficient. Now, before... I knew what this stuff was, thanks to whoever recommended this, G-Flex. Um, I'm going to use this to seal the back of this up. Hopefully it's strong enough. Let me know in the comment section below if that should be able to withstand this. So what I'm going to do now, <clears throat> I'm going to work on cleaning this up with a Dremel, and then cut out some carbon. And once I cut the piece out, so this is the rear transom, so we're going to take this and lay it just like so. And we're going to make a duplicate piece of that. So we got the rigger outside. And I've got my carbon fiber piece cut. It looks like I need to trim it just a smidge that way. And also a little smidge that way. Better to be too big than too little. You can kind of tell right there at the top where I scored it a couple times. Probably more on the line of exactly where I needed to cut it. But... I'll just sand it down and we'll try to uh, clean this up a little bit and get this all repaired. Carbon fiber, baby! Now that we got the piece all done, look and I'll show it to you. I think I, I did it just a smidge too small. I mean, damn, sand, sanding thing took it off quick. So it's not bad. I wish I would have had more of a tight fit. I've got about, I don't know, 30 seconds of a gap maybe a sixteenth inch of a gap on that side so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put little support pieces on the inside of here I'm gonna cut I don't know if I'll cut wood or carbon but I'm gonna glue a piece on the bottom a piece on the side a piece on the side there and a piece on the top to where when I put this in it won't go in too far they'll act like a stop on all four points and it'll also give me something to like glue to 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 give it the glue or the epoxy more to adhere to and I'll probably cut little hatches in it little notches and I'll do the same for I guess the facing inward the inward facing side of this I'll take the hacksaw and I'll cut some grooves on it to give some strength or rigidity 
um, you know, for the epoxy to grab onto. You can't really drill holes in it like you normally would because it would be on the back of the boat, but it will give something strong. So hopefully that will work. I don't think we had a problem with the glue. I think we had a problem with the wood delaminating. So now that I've got this piece all made, what we're going to do is we're going to spec out all of our holes and drill all of our holes to make sure we get it smack dab where we need it to be. Now that I got the piece all drilled out and see what I did here, I just used these little baby clamps, lined it up, got my holes all drilled, so we'll be good to go there. Now I'm opting not to drill the rudder holes yet until I get it mounted on the boat to where we know exactly where we want to place it. So I'll have the option to move it around a little bit if you know if or where I deem it fit for it to run. So I'm not sure which way it's going to go. I think it goes that way. It makes sense. Um, yeah. Because that's where your rudder, the boot's going to go. And I still have to uh, waller this hole out a little bit, the left hole, to get my cooling tube. Um, but this over here is what I'm talking about. So I need, I've got some more of these inside the house. And we're going to take these and glue them right on the side like that. Uh, it won't hold itself up there. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to glue that on the side all the way around and glue them on this side too. And I'm going to have to cut a piece to go all the way across the bottom and the top. That'll give us some good, good strength. And then we will see. Well, I went and got all the pieces I needed. This piece, these here are thicker than these here. So we'll have two of these. These will go on our sides. And then we'll use the thick pieces for the bottom and the top. So I didn't know if I could use one or the other. Looks like we'll just have to trim that. And we've got some holes, which is cool. It'll give us a little bit of rigidity. I think we'll put the holes towards the back. That may actually help when we go to try to put stuff in. Let's see, So I'm just going to use CA glue. I've got some medium CA glue. And we're going to glue those into the right depth. And once we're all done, we'll be able to take it inside and we'll use that new G-Flex epoxy to epoxy this on. But I need to be able to put the bracket on to this to make sure that we keep this completely lined up. We don't want to put it in there and realize we're half a hole off and it makes the rear strut sideways. So we're going to use our strut as our guide to make sure that we're straight left and right and up and down. Well, one down, three to go. Alright, so we got this one. Let's go ahead and remove it. Take a peek at it. Looking good. Looking good. So I went ahead and I made these pieces here. See if we can zoom in on it. You see how I took the little Dremel and um, made little hatches. That'll give a spot for the epoxy to go. And this side right here has got the holes, so that's the flat side. So what we'll do is we'll put that in there like so. These little mini clamps right here are the best investment, man. 99 cents at Harbor Freight. Can't beat them. And then a bunch of these little things are great. Keep them right up here. Bam, bam. Love them. CA glue, man. Sets up in freaking 60 seconds and you can rock it. And then we'll go over top of it with some epoxy and some carbon fiber and make this thing a bulletproof rigger. Yeah. You see, we already got a carbon fiber motor mount, thanks to Fred. Fred uh, sent me the boat, you know, so he had already made the carbon fiber mount for the motor. Because it needs it, you know. So, that's one thing that these things should always come with. But they don't, because they're $32. But um, we're reinforcing it. Cool. Alright, one more to go. Well, so the top piece was too thick. So what we did here, if you see the thickness of this piece, and then the thickness of this piece, see how thin this one over here is? 
So if I were to put the thick one in up top, it's going to interfere with the rudder arm and the rudder boot. So we don't want to do that because how close these holes are here. Turn the light off. If we set that on there and we set it right on top. We come right in line with that hole. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to have interference. So I'm going to use this piece here. And it'll give us the gap we need. You know, the closer that this thing gets to completion, the freaking more awesome that it's starting to look. Like, it's starting to get, in my opinion, like it's going to be a brick shit house. <laughs> oh, man, this is so freaking cool. Oh, man, I can't wait. All right, we're back inside. This is exactly what I was talking about. See how one is slightly taller than the other? So the wood was easy to manipulate. You, uh, and that was what I was using as a template. So it looks like I'm about a 30 seconds of an inch off on one of my holes. Cool, so I got my G-Flex. <clears throat> and this is what I ended up doing. So I got this, got it all kind of set up. So all I gotta do is slide it on. And bada bang, falls right into place. I do have a slight, I don't know if y'all can see that. Can you see that gap right there? It's not really that big. I can probably fill that with um, like maybe some carbon fiber epoxy. Maybe it's one or two. Maybe one mil. Not much over here is pretty tight. Everywhere else is tight except that gap right there. Don't like that, but I don't think it'll matter. It's gonna push against those pieces, which will be nice. Cool, all right, we're gonna get to work. All right, well, let's put some light on this situation and see how it turned out. Still gotta clean it up a little bit with some alcohol. But, um. I think it turned out pretty nice. I was able to pack in the uh, the G Flex in there real nice. Everything looks good. Let's see if we can get a peek inside. Yeah. Okay. Got plenty in the corner there. Let's see if we can get some down there. Yeah. I need to put a little bit on the inside there. But we'll wait. We'll allow what we have in there now to set up. And um, I can clean the outside of it a little bit. That looks good, man. Sweet. Carbon transom on the rigger. What? Hopefully it holds. Hopefully it holds. I think it will. I think it will do a really good job. Cool. Okay. Well, the video is getting long at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And uh, it just needs a little bit of dressing here and there. And then we'll get the rudder all put on and one more coat of uh, of this G-Flex. So I need to, I see it starting to drip right there. So I'm going to go ahead and try to post it up like this. Let it sit like this for 30 minutes and Hopefully, everything will be copacetic. So, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you all for watching. See you all on the next one. Peace.